Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm gonna share with you how to own a man's heart. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract the quality man you want and step into the most amazing relationship of your life thus far by being the light by being the real you and expressing yourself more fully than before. Now, the topic for today is how to own a man's heart. And the definition that I have for this isn't owning a man, isn't having magical powers over him, isn't him deferring to you for every one of your needs without putting his needs into the picture. What I'm sharing with you in, in terms of owning his heart is creating that devotion, inspiring that devotion, that connection, that passion, that intimacy where he wants you to be his number one. You, he wants you to experience him, the totality of him, in a way that no one else can. And he wants to experience you in intimacy, in a way where both of you share specific things in that relationship that are sacred and unique to both of you. Now, before I go forward, let me just share with you that the five steps I'll share with you today are part of that 10% of things you can do that create 90% of the results. It's not something easy to pull off necessarily, but it's something simple. Now, the thing, the idea, the concept behind what I'm sharing with you right now is what is gonna allow him to be yours is to get to know him, witness him, accept him, embrace him, and inspire real freedom in him. Real freedom in him means the, the ability, the, the freedom that takes place when you are fully seen, experienced, and witnessed. When you can create that level of friendship that goes beyond what words can share. The first step is going to be to see your own heart and to own your needs. What does this mean? This means that for you to be able to know someone, witness someone, accept someone, see someone, you have to be able to see yourself first. And you need to understand what your needs are. Why is it important to understand your needs specifically? Because if you don't understand your needs, the likelihood that you attempt to have a man own a man's heart right, who's not the right guy for you is really high. But if you understand your needs, you can start disqualifying in your heart, in your space, guys who are going to a different end destination than the one you're going to. Second step is to open your heart more to invite him in. It's a gradual opening. I'm not asking you to go from zero to 100 miles an hour in 2.5 seconds. I'm asking you to, once you recognize that there's a potential in someone, that you open your heart, you open your energy, that you open your mind, that you invite him into your space. Now, if he is interested in moving forward, you can continue opening. If he's not interested in moving forward, you move on. Third step that I recommend is to do what I call progressive vulnerability. Once you invite him in, once he's interested in pursuing you, once he's taking those steps, that you start sharing more about yourself so he can start sharing more about himself in a way that you can create that depth of connection that is a solid friendship foundation. Because the more you share who you are, even things you're scared to share, the more he shares who he is, even things he's scared to share, the more you get a chance to see him in his totality and to make a real decision in terms of, do I want to continue spending time with this human being, given that he's being honest with me and sharing all he is with me? Same thing, him towards you. Step number four, to recognize that there's an intimacy level taking place that far surpasses the intimacy that you have with other human beings, including close friends. Why? Because the combination of friendship, depth, and chemistry, and sexual tension is a very specific frequency, if you will. A frequency that is not necessarily shared with good friends. So understand and recognize, both of you, that there's a deeper level of intimacy taking place that you enjoy, that you like, and you want to continue uh, growing and expanding into. The fifth step, is the physical expression of that connection with boundaries. So here's what I mean. Most human beings make the mistake of connecting physically first and then attempting to discover if they have uh, compatibility, if they have shared values, and by the time they recognize that they don't, they're so into each other because their animal part has taken over and their hormones are high and the attachment that can take place between both of them is also high. So to separate from someone who's not good for you when you've done the physical thing first at a high level is really, really difficult. So you, you take the physical expression to a later space and you express your boundaries. Why? Because 
Maybe you start connecting more physically, but you don't have sex until you feel that there's a solid relationship taking place, until there's an exclusivity factor in it. Maybe you start with something that is closer than what you had before, but still not the deepest level of connection until there's an understanding of where both of you are going. Because when a guy understands that you can see him, you can recognize him, you can share yourself vulnerably, he's shared himself with you vulnerably, he recognizes their intimacy, he recognizes that there's a pathway to the utmost level of physical expression, but there are boundaries. There's things he has to do to be able to enjoy of such greatness, including the security of <laughs> creating a container for this relationship. Then if he has it in him, he'll take the next step. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful to you. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. I want you to, on the first line, on the description of this video, find a link that when you click on it, enter your name and email, will take you to a class that I created that's gonna share with you in a lot more detail how you can attract the kind of man you want and step into this kind of relationship in a lot less time than it would on your own. If you like this video, please click like or thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching new episodes as they come up. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.